Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for some more Expeditions Viking. When we left off, we were here in Reeb checking out the town. I went around and did a little bit of exploring and gathered up some goodies. But as I mentioned in the previous episode, there's an ambush waiting. And somewhere around here, we are going to run into it. I don't quite remember what triggers it. Well, obviously, walking right there triggers it. So here we go. We have got... Some of these guys are going to run out and start attacking us. Johnny Bowman there. Ooh, nice shot. Uh-oh. That's not I good. Well, everything. I guess they're going to kill anybody. Killing... What's his face? You know, c could be worse. Uh, uh, the good news is we should be able to take out a couple of these guys. Let's... Um, I can flank this guy easily. Can I charge and flank him? Nice. Very nice. All right. And uh, Asselfer here should be able to finish him off. And that means I can get Nefja here to run in. And uh, uh, actually, she doesn't really need to run in, does she? She can almost reach this guy from where she's at. Uh, but anyway, she's going to uh, stab at this guy. Skaji. And then Sean here. Can he finish him off? Not quite. Yes, he can with a heavy swing. Nice. Swammo. Alright. And um, nobody else is injured. So we'll do a... Um, do like a demoralize on them because there's no need to heal anybody and I can I should be able to get these guys up here I thought I could get close enough to where I could uh, rack wrap him up and uh, and uh, what am I trying to say here uh, you know to where he's tied up and, and has a attack of opportunity but I guess I can't um, so what I think I'll do is I'll just have everybody kind of duck behind uh, this cover over here and make him come out. He can't move, so he's probably just going to shoot directly at Sean, huh? Well, all right, well, we'll see what happens. And she's behind cover already. Great. All right. So Sean's going to get a couple of shots off at him. <laughs> can't believe he missed. Oh, wow, that demoralize is so powerful. So they're going to use it on us now. Alright, can he... He can't quite get over there, but he does have his bow, his trusty bow. 10% um, chance to hit. That is terrible. But that's the power of demoralization. Uh, we'll run over here and probably have like a 30% chance, 22% chance. It's just terrible. This will get him up to 32%. 47, nice. Still missed, though. Alright. Asselfer. Asselfer can't get close enough. Ah, he can't quite get close enough either. Dang. But he can get... Well, I mean, he can get close enough, but not to be able to attack at the same time. How about I run him up here? Of course, then this guy's going to have a uh, direct attack on him. Because I, I was kind of wanting to use like one of the bonus uh, bonus things. She, she's not close enough to hit him from here. Well, I can have him get in close enough to, to get his attack of opportunity stuff set up. Shit! What the? Must be a trap. It's not good. Um, and uh, he doesn't have any uh, special things that he can do. But he can come up here. Hopefully those... Uh, Alright, I was going to say, hopefully that poison doesn't affect him more than once. And um, she can't do anything from there. But she can demoralize... And then Nefja here, she can give us like Tears Favor, Baldur's Favor, or Tears Favor. 
damage reduction or physical resistance. Well, I guess I'll take damage reduction. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, sh should I send her running forward? I mean, this guy certainly is going to be shooting there. And he probably isn't going to be shooting anybody, so I may as well send her up. If he shoots somebody, that would be just fine with me. Oh. Yes, he's stabbing. Wow. Pretty good stab attack there. And what did he do? He steadied? I don't know what that means. Um, but we have our bonuses now. So uh, should I try to take two shots? Why don't I just do a sword attack? Actually, I can flank him. And then do a heavy... Oh, I guess I can't do a heavy swing. I guess you have to do that at the start of your move. Doesn't matter. She should be able to finish this guy off. Oh, she can't finish him off. Well, let's see if somebody else can uh, do uh, something a little more serious here. Like, Nefjack can come over and... Because he can, he can step back. And then Asselfer can run in. I should have used charge, but it doesn't matter. Because this will kill him. And then Nefjok can come over and uh, she can uh, stab this guy. Alright. Now, I've never had anybody get poisoned before. I don't think it will last necessarily, right? No new injuries. Alright, so it doesn't look like the poison sticks around. What in Thor's name was all that about? Who are these people? Uh, Nefja nudges one of the attackers. This one's still alive. Who sent you? Speak! I'm like Batman. Uh, you're met with a gaze that speaks clearly to your prospects. You'll get nothing out of this person. Check their pockets. You and your herd each picks an attacker to search. Nefja raises her hand, holding something that glimmers in the light. Found something. A medallion of some kind. The silver medallion is the centerpiece of a pearl necklace. You don't recognize the patterns that adorn it, but somebody in this town must know. And Gunnar leads over to get a look at the necklace. Mmm, that pattern looks faintly familiar. I can't quite place it, though. I may have seen something like it up in Kaopeng. Perhaps we should ask around in the market. All right. Assassins. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Now back to searching around for treasure, which is pretty much what I was doing before the uh, uh, ambush happened there. Dig around these bodies, see what they have to offer. Nothing in that one. There should be four of them, right? There's number three and number four. All right, a little bit of goodies anyways. Uh, we have not, let's uh, orient the map properly. Got a little bit of area to search around for some goodies. Doesn't seem to be much up in here. Can I open that barrel? I, there we go, some tar, okay. Oh shit, I don't want to do that, no stealing. Only, only steal from people who don't care that you steal their stuff. Um, that's a door. I don't want to go in there. Tar again. Plenty of tar. Who's Hanar Bristlebeard? Oh, cancel. All right, Hanar, what do you got to say? Reeb's most central blacksmith is well-renowned for his broad knowledge of metalworking. He can forge a sword as readily as mend a broken pot. While one of his apprentices bangs away, the smith meets you outside. Hyalux Hyaluxile, my honorable thane, have you come to commission a weapon from the Beth Smith north of Saxony? Uh, why didn't you help me when we were attacked? Do you recognize this pattern? Do you sell arms and armor? Let me take a look at your stock. All right, let's see. Do you recognize the patterns? Mm, no, I can't say I've ever seen engravings like this before. You ought to ask that lady who sells supplies at the market. She's traveled far and wide. Uh, do you sell arms and armor? The matter is speaking, I build such things to order. Bring me the materials. Yeah, I know how that works. All right. Uh, let me take a look at your stock. Oh, okay. So you actually sell materials and stuff too. That's interesting. Um, I don't think I really need to exchange any stuff. He's got disagreeable prices. Huh. Wow. Yeah, those are terrible prices. 
Yikes. I do not want to trade with you. Cancel. All right. Um, let's uh, see what kind of equipment you can make. Um, now, do you still have terrible prices? Well, now he has fair prices. Make up your mind. What do... what? I don't think we want to make any equipment, to be honest, but what would we want to make? We could make like a fancy shield of some sort. That would cost... okay. Huh. So then if I were to reduce that, I could... so I could go like that. So a three... is that like 3% physical resistance? 7% block chance? Don't seem like very good odds. Um, and that would cost me 1300 All right, well, I don't want to do any of that right now. Um, I'll be back. Cool. So there's uh, uh, the most competent uh, craftsperson in town, who didn't really seem to be all that impressive. Um, uh, there's some more loot to try to scavenge up, though. We're up to 22 wood, so... We'll have 25 here soon, which is enough for at least one of those. Uh, and there's going to be a fur right there if I can... Uh, I'll just turn it around. There we go. Furs are really valuable. They sell... Oh, four of them, too. Very nice. That's one of those mystery buckets that's almost impossible to open. More tar, for what good that does me. I don't know that I found any use for tar. over here and check this little thing. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It's like, it seems too small to be a barrel or anything. It's like a post. I don't know how anything would be stuck inside of a post. Really had to go a long way around to get to those sacks. And more hides. I like it. Cloth. I'm kind of indifferent about that. I love how we can come check that out, like with all those people sitting around it. All these people sitting around having lunch and there's like nobody to talk to. And they also don't care that I'm <laughs> digging through all their barrels. Taking all their powder and hides and herbs and whatnot. Rope. Uh-huh. Like, uh, you know, all I really want is wood and hides. All this other stuff, like, I, I never craft anything. I mean, I probably will in camp and stuff as I start leveling my people up um, and, you know, getting them more ready for that sort of thing. But um, right now, you know, all those all those little goodies are not all that useful to me. I'm going to take a really long way around to get to, uh, to, get to that stuff. Why don't you come up here since we're standing there? See what's what's in the box. Oh, net trap. See, every once in a while you get something really, really valuable out of this. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about all these weirdos standing around in the road here. Oh, somebody's a thief, huh? Can't really interfere in those things. They won't let you talk to anybody. More goodies. There's a box over here. And nothing in it. There's some salvage. Still don't quite have 25 wood, but we're getting there. Take the long way around to these things. Honey. Alright. More stuff. Ah, oh, hides. Beautiful. Now, how are we going to get in there? They really got to take a long, long route to get in there. There we go. All that for one hide, huh? Hardly seems worth it. Except one hide is worth ten wood. Ah, there's more wood. Great. All right. No, no, no. I don't want to leave yet. Why would I leave when I have all this, this, uh, all this loot that I haven't looted yet? Hey, where is everybody? There they are. We got uh, people arguing outside our window. Outside my window. There's, I guess you... Uh, I, I don't know if I know you well enough, viewer, to consider 
my window part <laughs> like yours. I can consider my channel. It's our channel, right? I know I just said my channel, but you know what I mean. It's our channel. Because if it wasn't for you viewers, this channel wouldn't be here. But uh, my window would still be there, whether or not you watched the whether or not you watched videos. So I'm going to continue to to consider that my uh, sole possession, and uh, you'll have to get to know me a little better before I uh, uh, consider my window to be yours and the street below it. And you know what? Honestly, considering that it's probably homeless people arguing outside, you're not really missing out on much. Hey, Thorgan Ubenson. A gruff-looking man with expensive equipment stands at the docks by a mighty warship, idly watching the passers-by. Ho there! Need to hire a ship? I bet you've traveled far. For sure, my crew and I have been as far up the northern coast as we have been down the southern shores. Nobody has pictures. Uh, you won't find a more experienced crew anywhere. Uh, ever see patterns like this? I have. In fact, I was recently paid with something very much like this. The captain retrieves a sort of diadem from a sack at his feet. He hands it to you, hanging onto the medallion as collateral. The diadem bears striking resemblance to the medallion you found in the assassins. Same material, same patterns. There's no doubt. Who paid you at this, and what for? Well, now, I'm not altogether sure I want to say. It, well, that's an awful lot of... Uh, all right. Would a tin or tug of silver loosen your tongue? That's a hundred, uh, a hundred, uh... Huh! Too steep. You've given me enough to go on. The dock workers will be able to tell me what I need to know. Wait, wait, all right. Ten or tugs of silver. Okay, here you go. A hundred valuables. I was paid by a woman called Hrodragrada to transport a group of slightly shifting-looking people to Reeb. There were five of them, three men and two women. I gathered that one of the women was the sister of one of the men... When we took the job, she paid us with this diadem. I didn't ask any questions. Now, it's been a pleasure doing business with you, but if you're not looking to hire my crew, I have other things to attend to. Skull's assassin. Those rumors were blatantly exaggerated. Yet here we are, having survived an ambush by killers she hired. Yes, that does appear to be the case. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. No, but let's keep it in mind in case we run into her again. Alright, cool. Quest complete. Um, and we didn't even have to go to the market. I guess we could have went to the market and maybe saved ourselves uh, 100 valuables. Um, but, okay, so... Uh, we can't hire any mercenaries. We'd have to go to the swamp. So maybe that's what we should do. Um, do we have... Um, how, do I get to the, how do I get to the world map? Is there a way to see that? Area map, yeah. But you can't see the world map from here. I I think we need to head to the swamp. Let's check our quests. <sighs> Tomb Raider, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can sell that ship. And I don't quite want to go for this one last drink thing because uh, those guys want to get into a fight with us. Um, so, market it is. Um, oh, weird, I don't, I should have indicated that I want to, uh, there we go, let's track that one. That'll lead us to the market. Best prices in all of Jutland. Uh, let's see what Gnipli has to say. The young trader with the unforgettable lisp waves excitedly. So glad to see you again, my highly honorable Thane. Are you looking to peruse our fine selection of mild old and hide? Would you be able to chop up an old ship for us? I don't think the little kid would be able to do that. Well, well, sure, I suppose. We haven't done that kind of thing before, but it should be a straightforward job. Now wait, I... Oh, okay. Pay 500 valuables, get 200 wood. Uh... I'll have to think about it, yeah, because I don't know what the... What's the exchange rate for wood? Uh, some other time. All right, um, let's go to a standard merchant like uh, Mount Ragnar is the... the oh, I guess, I guess this person's a standard merchant, isn't he? Let's see what you have. So, valuables for wood. 12 valuables for one wood. 
Ah, your prices have changed. Interesting. I wonder if the game upgraded or something. All right, so let's uh, let's just let's just let's go check another merchant. Is this another merchant? A well-dressed woman in her mid 40s stands between two stalls. Step right up, my good man. If you're looking for food or medicine, you've come to the wrong place. Right place. Hmm, too bad it's a warship. Could use a freighter to help carry our goods up the river. How much are you willing to sell it for? 200 silver? Well, I... Uh, one. Oh, yeah, forget it. No deal. Although, that would be a lot of... That would be 1,800... Uh, um, 1,800 valuables. So, she doesn't have any wood to sell me. Uh, Yardar. Uh, honorable warrior, moment of your time, please. Hi, Alex Isle. Sorry to impose on you like this. I'm traveling with a retinue that marks you as a man of high standing. My name is Yardar. I'm a merchant training in iron works from the east. Recently bought a house near the docks, moved here. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. To my tremendous misfortune, having purchased the house before coming here, I find it occupied by rats. They're a fierce bunch, and I cannot take up residence in my home before they've been routed. I had to pay dearly to lodge with a business acquaintance for the past two weeks while I've attempted to resolve the situation. I've been met with a dismaying lack of support from the Jarl's men. You think the Jarl will be interested in getting rid of such vermin, but no. Uh, what sort of compensation can I expect? A hundred ore tugs. Um, I'll need you to double that for your goods. You're hiring this, hiring the skein, right? Yes, I see it. Once you're a great warrior, two hundred ore tug of silver. Uh, very well. Yeah, thank you, magnanimous warrior. Yeah, great, great. What I really want to find out is about this, uh, about the exchange rate for uh, for for logs. So you say that you'll trade with me, but in reality, you will not. And uh, Ragnar, I know you're the. Uh, uh, slave trader, so you don't have any uh, you don't have any wood either. All right, uh, some other time. So, uh, what did they give me? Um, gave me twelve valuables for one wood, and. If I pay 500 valuables, I will get 100 wood. So I'd have to pay 1,200 valuables to get 100 wood otherwise. All right, well, I'll definitely pay that. Seems like fair pay. You got yourself a deal. Yeah, it sounds like a great deal to me. Run to get your brother's son. Tell him to bring his axe and some friends. All right. Thank you, kiddo. So now I've got a ton of wood, which is fantastic because that will help me out with my homestead. Now we still have several days before we can upgrade our stuff but uh, that's going to be great for when we want to upgrade it going forward um, all right guys i think that's a good time to put in a break here thank you so much for watching today i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have leave me a comment down in the comment section i always want to hear what you have to say um, uh, tomorrow i guess uh, we will probably head down to the swamp or maybe I could try to figure out this rat thing. I know that I've done the first step in the rat thing, which is basically to go to the house. But I haven't really figured out how to resolve it. So we'll take a look at that. But uh, heading to the swamp is um, kind of getting down to what we have left on quests. So um, let's uh, see what happens tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, thank you very much for everybody who has subscribed. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye.